I'm Anil Kumar and now let us explore further how to solve right triangles. The question here is determine the angle theta to the nearest degree. So that is the diagram given to us with few dimensions. You need to find angle theta. You can actually pause the video, solve the question and then look into my suggestion. Now before getting into solving we should understand the strategy. How can we find angle theta? Now we know this is a linear angle line, it makes 180. So before finding theta, we should actually find this angle. Let me call this angle as x. Now to find this angle, what should be known to us? Now in this right triangle, we should know that length. So let me call this length as y. So that is how in the given figure, we can actually identify what all we need to calculate to really get to our answer. Correct? And now the strategy is we can begin by solving the smaller triangle. We know angle, we know the side opposite, so we can find the adjacent side using tan. Correct? So let's begin. So let me first write down uh, what is sine, cosine, and tan. So we know sine is opposite over hypotenuse cos is adjacent over hypotenuse and tan is opposite over adjacent so let's begin by looking at the very first triangle we are given angle 52 side opposite and adjacent so opposite and adjacent is given to us we should use tan of the angle so we can write this as tan of 52 degrees is equals to 9 centimeter over y so 9 over y we'll use units at the end while answering the question now we can cross multiply and get the value of y so y is equals to 9 divided by tan of 52 degrees so at this stage we can always use the calculator find the answer so we get 9 divided by tan 52 equals to 7.031 so we get y as 7.031. So now we know y. How does that help us? Knowing y, we can find the base of big triangle, right? So, so base is how much? So we say base of the triangle is y plus 11. y plus 11. That is 7.031 plus 11. Or 18.031 of course in centimeters so we know this length right so I'll just write down the length there so this length is 18.031 total length since we know the length and the opposite side we can find the angle x again using tan opposite over adjacent is that okay so we'll again apply the same trigonometric ratio tan but this time with the angle x so we have tan of x as equals to 9 over this length of 18.031 so what is x equals to x is equals to tan inverse of 9 divided by 18.031 correct so let's find using the calculus tan inverse is second function within brackets 9 divided by 18.031 bracket close equal to 26.525 five okay that much degrees is the angle x now what is theta theta is equals to 180 degrees minus x which is 180 degrees minus 26.52 right so let's use calculator find the answer 180 minus 26.52 in decimal it gives us 153.48 degrees right since we have to report the angle in nearest degree we should round it right so it is 153 degrees as our answer therefore the answer is theta equals to 153 degrees correct so that is how it should be solved 
I hope the steps are clear. Go through them once again. Try to understand when which ratio should be used to solve a question like this. I hope that helps. Thank you.